Okay, so let's talk about cancer terms. Cancer terms are going to come up in anatomy class. They're definitely going to come up in pharmacology class when we cover the anti-neoplastic drugs, which I'll explain in a sec what that means. And it's going to come up in surgical technology when we're discussing various types of surgical procedures, but also in the um, diagnostic um, chapter when we <laughs> discuss um, different forms of biopsy. So um, let's go through all those terms and a couple of additional ones. So let's start with prognosis. A prognosis is um, when the doctor predicts the outcome for our patient. So um, we're just going to call this a prediction. And um, a diagnosis. This one we've probably all heard. A diagnosis is um, when the doctor tells you what they think you have. So that is evaluating what they think you have. Then um, we're going to look at different um, terms for the tumor. We've all probably heard in just general media what a tumor is. And of course, we all think a tumor is cancer, right? Um, but really, a tumor is an abnormal growth and the proper term for a tumor is a neoplasm neo means new just like a the neonatal wing in the hospital is where they keep the newborn babies so a neoplasm is a new growth um, or plasm means form new form um, so it's a new growth and we always think um, a negative connotation when we think tumor, but really a tumor or neoplasm can have two forms. It can be benign or it can be malignant. I think of malignant like malice, so malignant is bad like malice is bad. If you have malice aforethought, uh, it's a legal term meaning that you knew you were out to do bad stuff when you got there. Um, so malignant is um, cancerous. And benign is non-cancerous. The more technical definition here for benign is going to be it is a single tissue type. that may not make a lot of sense right now, but I'm going to explain that in a second. And that it is not spreading. And the malignant tumor is going to show disorganized tissue. And it is going to display uncontrolled growth. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's large, it just means nothing is telling that cell it's lived too long and it should die. So it's going to show uncontrolled growth and disorganized tissue if it's cancerous. And if it's benign, it's going to be um, a single tissue type and not spreading. So let's go through another term here, which is metastasis. which means that the tumor has spread. So if we have a patient who has a breast tumor, and that tumor has traveled up into her lymph nodes, and gotten into her lymph system and traveled through her body, through her lymph system, and maybe has gotten into her small intestines. So she's, it's in her intestines now. She has a big tumor here in her intestines. 
but this is called metastasis, the spreading of a tumor from one site to another. And we refer to this first site where the cancer originated as the primary, meaning first, primary site and the second place that it moved to after um, it got loose in the body as the secondary site. Um, and this is metastasis that it has traveled. You might also refer to the cancer as having been metastatic, so it describing that it had traveled through the body. Um, and this is how come we say that um, a benign tumor has a single tissue type. This breast tumor is actually going to break off a tiny little piece of the breast tumor when it travels through the body down through the um, lymphatic system down to wherever the secondary site is. And so when you um, do a biopsy on this secondary site, you're going to see that there are um, intestinal cells there that are growing out of control, but you're also going to see that there's um, breast can um, cancer cells in there that don't belong. So you're going to see two tissue types. It's one of the reasons that benign says that it's a single tissue type. Um, and another word I've been throwing around a little here is a biopsy. A biopsy is when you take a piece of, a sample of, um, a, of the body or um, of the fluids from the body and send it off to the pathology department to analyze. And let's throw in pathology in case that hasn't come up yet for you. Um, pathology is the department in the um, hospital that's going to study um, disease processes. So they're going to be looking at samples that we send them to see if they're cancerous, to see if there's a bacterial infection. So pathology is the department um, that we would send that to, and a person who works in pathology would be a pathologist. Um, let me double check my list, make sure I got everything here. Oh, chemotherapy. Scroll down here. Okay, chemotherapy, which we've most um, often heard just abbreviated as chemo, right? Chemotherapy is just the series of drugs that we give to patients with cancer. And because a tumor is called a neoplasm, the technical term for cancer drugs are anti-neoplastic drugs. So anti-neoplastic drugs are anti-cancer drugs because this is tumor. Um, a benign tumor could also be a problem for a person if a benign tumor is um, pressing on an organ or blocking a blood vessel or something. So um, you might treat a benign tumor as well as a um, malignant tumor. Um, and one of the things about early chemotherapy treatments was that they were cytotoxic. Oops, toxic. Um, so cyto, of course, um, like cytoplasm means cell. So this is cell. And toxic means poison. So it was poisonous to the cell. And the theory behind the original early chemo drugs, and a lot of those drugs are um, the, still the theory behind the, the drugs today, is that the cancer cells grow and divide really, really rapidly. And so if you were to put poison into the body in a way that would poison cells that were growing and dividing rapidly, then those cells would be susceptible to the poison more so than the rest of the cells in your body, which grow and divide more slowly. So um, they would absorb and use these poisons faster than the rest of your body, but that's also how come you get some of the common reactions to chemotherapy, such as um, nausea and vomiting, um, because your intestines also grow really rapidly, as does like the lining of your stomach, because 
um, they're constantly getting scraped by food and, and things going through your system. So they grow rapidly. It's also how come your hair falls out, and your hair and your skin grow rapidly. And, um, but it is, and also it is immunosuppressive. I may have spelled that wrong. Um, immunosuppressive means that it suppresses your immune system. And the reason for that is because one of the things that divides and grows the most rapidly in your body are your red blood cells and your white blood cells. And so these cytotoxic cells are also poisoning your immune system by killing off your ability to reproduce those cells so rapidly. So you will also find that some of the um, drugs that are supportive therapy to go with chemotherapy are going to replenish the immune system or protect the immune system from the cytotoxic drugs that we might be given. And I think that's pretty, oh, one more good term. Um, if you think about the cancer cell as kind of looking like Pac-Man, he might be gobbling up all the nutrients in your body um, because he's sort of greedy. So he's going to eat up all the good nutrients in your body. Your body's going to be depleted of nutrients, and you would start to um, get skinnier, get less healthy looking, um, in what they call waste away. So um, the technical term for that wasting away of a person's body is cachexias. Cachexia is the term for um, your body wasting away when it has lack of nutrients from, um, in this case, from the cancer um, hogging all of the nutrients. Um, you should do a Google image search on the term cachexia and um, see the pictures. That'll help cement the idea in your head. But it's basically that idea of when you've seen somebody who's very sick and they get skinny, they start to lose weight, they get very pale and um, sick looking. That's, that's basically what cachexia is.